Here's what's new in the latest October 2020 update of Lightroom Classic. Although there's been some updates to features like the navigator, different ways to zoom, go back to 100, or different percentages, and also general improvements to the performance so that certain tools and brushes work faster, one of the main new features that I'm going to be showing you is this new color grading section that's split into mid-tones, shadows, and highlights with the color wheel. So you may be familiar with this from other programs like Adobe Premiere Pro, but this is new to Lightroom and it's pretty self-explanatory. You have the mid-tones, which if you, if you ever look up in the histogram, you can kind of see the shadows, mid-tones, and highlights and how much of them there are in the picture. So for example, the white of her shirt as opposed to the black of her coat. And if I ever drag this circle towards the color, you can see this will be influencing the mid-tones so kind of those middle gray areas. And you can even watch the histogram as I pull the sliders and see different things start to go on. Another trick is if you hold Alt or Option, you can drag and it'll give you a little bit more of a precision drag rather than a quick drag. And you also have this little slider right here, which allows you to influence the brightness or darkness of just that section. So if you ever want to just reset things back to normal, another trick is just double clicking it. That works with most all the sliders in Lightroom. But you can also choose to click this I button and that'll show you a before and after. So you can influence the midtones, cooler, darker, whatever way. But then you can also influence the shadows. So if I wanted to pull some dark blue into the shadows or purple colors, maybe even darken up the exposure of those, but put some greens or yellow tones in the mid-tones. And lastly, you have the highlights. So this will be all those more white portions that we haven't touched yet. You can make it whatever color you want really, but you can see how it's really filling in those highlights as opposed to the shadows. And you also have the, the opportunity to brighten or darken those specifically. So you can use, you don't have to always use every single slider. You can use these as subtly as you see fitting. And then you also have these two things at the bottom, blending and balance. So as I pull the blending towards the shadows, you can slightly see things get more blended and less and the balance as well. I can push things really strongly towards the highlights or darkness. So these two tools here allow you to kind of blend and balance the colors together in one general direction or the other, which can kind of help if you have gone too overboard in one section. And you also have just different view options. So right now we have the three circle option, but you can focus on the big shadow option. This gives you a couple different extra options like changing the hue with this color picker giving you some extra options like the saturation and hue, which you could do with the just dragging around, but this gives you that slider precision. You can do that for each three. And you have the global influence. So just doing kind of all of them at once, adding some global color to things. So that's a new way to color grade. One of the main new features, this kind of three-way highlights, shadows, and midtones in Adobe Lightroom. My name is Justin Odisho. If you want to check out some more Lightroom tutorials on my channel, I have a whole playlist. And you could subscribe to my channel here on YouTube for all kinds of Adobe editing tutorials and more. If you want to see what's new in Photoshop, I also have a video for that and some of the new tools in After Effects and Premiere. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you over in the next video.